Hello everyone, this is Morgan with TotalView.com Online Tutorials. Today I'm just going to demonstrate a neat little feature within Painter uh, is the where you can create a movie or short clips. It's pretty useful and handy when you want to just make little cute or um, short clips within, uh, within animation. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is File, New. Um, we'll go ahead and leave this around width 10 and in inches, height 10 and in inches, and then the picture type, instead of image, I'm going to select movie, and I'm going to go ahead and put in, let's say, 12 frames. I'm going to say OK. It's going to pop up a window to name our uh, movie. I'm just going to call it demo. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. Say save. Here you can uh, change the layers of the onion skin or the uh, storage type. I'm just going to leave everything as is and say OK. I'm going to maximize my window. And as you can see here, you get a window, an extra window when you make a movie. And this is where you can control your frames. You can play your movie, stop it, or you can um, skim right through all your frames. So we're going to go back to the frame one. I'm going to go ahead and select it by clicking. I'm going to move my window over. And I'm going to go ahead and select a pen tool. Increase its size a little bit. Color black. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a little ball up here on the top left corner. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, select my next frame. But as you can see, my uh, drawing in my frame one has disappeared. Um, it's kind of pointless doing animations if you can't see where your original um, picture was. So what you can do is you can go up on the top of your canvas here when it's maximized and up in the top right corner you have the tracing paper so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and as you can see now I'm on frame 2 but I can see my drawing or my circle on my frame 1 so I'm going to go ahead and draw another circle I'm going to go to frame 3 and as you can see frame 1 is now no longer seen but frame 2 is still draw another circle Frame 4, I'm going to go ahead and draw another circle, and this time I'm going to draw a little ground here. Uh, next frame, the ball is going to hit the ground in this frame, so it's going to kind of flatten out. Alright, go ahead and draw my floor again. Frame 6, we're going to flatten our ball, but it's going to rotate a little bit, so I'm going to, that looks pretty good. Frame 7, now our ball is going to start regaining some of its shape back. Frame 8, draw my line on my floor, and now my ball should be almost getting back frame 11 disappear off the edge of the screen. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to play the movie real quick. So I'm going to turn off my tracing paper. I am then going to press the play button. And as you can see, there it's playing. Go ahead and stop it. And now you can go ahead and save it. So I'm going to go ahead and go to File, Save As. And now you get an option of how you want to save it. You can save it as an AVI file, QuickTime, um, 
as numbered files or a, GIF, a GIF animation. I'm just going to leave it as a AVI frames per second. I'm just going to lower it down to say six and go ahead and say OK. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. Again, I'm just going to say demo onto my um, desktop. Say save. Full frames looks pretty good. I'm going to say OK. And that is how you make a quick animation in through Corel Painter. Um, so this concludes this tutorial. I hope you found it kind of useful. And thank you for watching.